So you want to learn the pros and cons of living in Burlington, Vermont? Well, in this video, I'm going to start by covering the good things and stick around to the end to also learn the bad things about Burlington. Okay guys, real quick, this is Jacob Arns with EXP Realty in Vermont. If you want to learn more about all things Vermont related, please make sure to subscribe and also like and leave a comment. And if you are looking to buy or sell a home anywhere in Vermont, make sure to give me a call, send me a text, or shoot me an email. Alright, let's get into it. Starting with the pros. Number one, Burlington is the biggest city in Vermont and the most urban living, while still being a relatively small city, appeals to a lot of people. While Burlington only has a current population of 43,000, it's the closest you'll get to big city living anywhere in Vermont. And even so, it's not a far drive to mountains and more rural areas. Also, even though Burlington does have a lot more people than most of Vermont, the crime rate is still pretty low. Number two, amenities. Being the biggest city in Vermont also comes with the most things to do. Like all of Vermont, Burlington has many more small businesses than big chains. It has a lot of great restaurants, breweries, shops, and art galleries. It's also been ranked in the top 10 best cities for beer lovers and in the top 5 best cities for foodies. There's also plenty of local events, festivals, and farmers markets. Burlington is very walkable and has lots of bike paths as well, making it easy to get around. If you're looking for something to make you laugh or keep you entertained, head on over to the popular Flynn Theatre. Or if you're looking to do some shopping, drive to the University Mall in South Burlington. There's also over 35 different parks in this small city to visit. Number three, proximity. Burlington is close to everything you need living in Vermont. While Burlington has many amenities, you can also take a very short trip to Wilson or Essex Junction if you want to find more places to try and things to do. If you like to ski or snowboard in the winter, Bolton Ski Resort is only about 30 minutes away and both Smuggler's Notch and Stowe are under an hour. Jay Peak and Killington are both under two hours. And if you're looking to get away for a weekend, Montreal is only about an hour and 45 minutes away and Boston is a bit over three hours. Number four, jobs. Being the largest city in Vermont comes with the benefit of having a high availability of jobs. With the University of Vermont having around 11,000 students a year, it's no surprise that school hires a lot of people. Some other big companies include IBM, the UVM Medical Center, and Global Foundries. Because of the job availability, lots of people get a job in Burlington, but live outside of it to avoid the higher cost of living. Overall, Burlington has an unemployment rate about half of the national average. Number five, Lake Champlain. Burlington runs along the edge of Lake Champlain and has spectacular waterfront views. Watching the sunset behind the Adirondacks is a popular thing to do, whether it's while eating dinner or walking on the beach or boardwalks. During the summer months, it's popular to swim, paddleboard, go kayaking, and fish. You can also go boating and take a tour of Lake Champlain from a sailboat or take a cruise on the Spirit of Ethan Allen. Having such a large lake so close is definitely a big benefit to the people of Burlington. Number six, education. Burlington is a college town. This is particularly noticeable when many college students leave the state during the summer because the city gets a lot quieter for several weeks. The University of Vermont, also known as UVM, as well as Champlain College are both in Burlington and both are highly rated schools. UVM has around 11,000 students annually, while Champlain College has around 2,100. And remember, Burlington only has a population of 43,000 people, so that's a significant amount of students. It makes sense that about one in four people in Burlington are from the age of 18 to 21. Apart from colleges, the local elementary and high schools are also highly rated. Also affiliated with the colleges, the UVM Medical Center is an academic hospital that serves Burlington and the surrounding areas. Since more rural areas don't have hospitals, it definitely is a plus to live near one. Now the part you've probably been waiting for, the cons. Number one, housing. It can definitely be a struggle to find a home if you're looking to move to Burlington, especially in the seller's market. Rentals are also extremely hard to find right now, much of which can be attributed to the vast number of college students, but there is also a higher demand than there is a supply, with many of the out-of-state people looking to move to Vermont. While America's average tenant vacancy is just under 7%, Vermont's average vacancy is usually around 2%, but the last study showed that it's now around 1.1%. It's hard to say if or when the seller's market will go back to normal, but until then, good luck finding affordable housing. Number two, cost of living. It will cost you about 21% above the national average to live in Burlington. If you can find housing, it will cost you about 47% above the national average with a median home value of $400,000. The average rent for a two bedroom apartment is $1,600. Utilities are about 19% above the national average and both groceries and transportation are 12% above. The average electricity bill is $220 per month and the average phone bill is about $180 per month. 
A gallon of gas is currently around $3. Property taxes are quite high in Burlington and a big turnoff for a lot of people. On average, citizens of Burlington spend about $6,000 a year in property taxes, over double the national average. The property tax rate is about 2.06%. Burlington also has a sales tax of 7%, but that doesn't apply to food, clothing, or medicine. Vermont's income tax ranges from 3.35% to 8.75%. Just know it's going to cost you to reside in what's been rated one of the top 100 best cities to live in in America. Number three, low median income. While Burlington has a high availability of jobs, the majority of them have low barriers of entry and low income to provide opportunities to the high number of college students. The median household income is around $52,000, while the United States overall median household income is about $63,000. Seeing how the average age of people in Burlington is 27, it isn't a huge surprise that the median income is very low compared to other cities, but with the cost of housing and living quite a bit above average, you'll want to make sure you can get a job that pays well enough to support you. Number 4, it's cold and snowy. While it should be pretty obvious that Vermont gets cold and snowy, this probably isn't what attracts most of the citizens of Burlington. Around six months of the year we have snow, some years we get lots, other years we get hardly any snow. On average though, we have the highest annual snowfall of any state. What this means is you will have to have your driveway plowed or shoveled every time it snows. You'll also probably want a car with a remote starter so you can give it time to warm up before you drive to work. And even so, you'll still have to scrape off ice and snow before getting in. The snow can make the roads pretty messy and traffic will be going slower, so you'll want to leave early for work. You'll have to get up earlier to do all these things, but it will also still be dark outside as the sun doesn't rise until around 7.30 in the winter months, and it goes down around 4.30. Luckily, during the spring, our days start to get longer again, and during the summer, the sun rises around 5.30 and sets around 8.30. Shorter days in winter is definitely one of my least favorite things about Vermont. Alright, those are the pros and cons of Burlington, Vermont. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If there's anything I can do for you, don't be afraid to reach out. This is Jacob Barnes with EXP Realty, and I'll see you next time.